guys welcome to my youtube channel the core developer so today we are going to discuss about babel what is babel and why it is used so uh, in the previous video we encountered this babel uh, in the like our terminal it was showing something yellow and it was saying something babel resets and everything so i thought to make a video about this explaining what is babel and what it does i couldn't cover it in the previous one because the length of the video will be would have been much longer so now let's discuss it here because it is a good topic so what babel is is a it is a javascript transpiler right that converts javascript es6 into plain old es5 javascript that can run in any browser even in the old ones we use it because uh, what happens when we write codes like uh, some of the new features that have been included in es6 script like arrow functions and everything so when we write this so in the older version of uh, javascript some browsers might be using it so it is like very hectic for those browser to do like read these things and compile this thing as well so that is when the babel comes into picture so what is a compiler trans uh, what is a transpiler sorry for that okay so transpilers or source to source compilers are tools that read source code written in one programming language and produce the equivalent code in another language which is in the same level okay then what is transpiling then so it is the process of taking one language and convert it in into another like you transpile your try scripts into javascript and css into css now what is the difference between compiling and transpiling so compiling convert one language to another at lower abstraction level like java to bit code while transpiling convert one language to another at same abstraction level like TypeScript to JavaScript or SAS to CSS. Now, what is the reason for using Babel? Okay, so well, all the latest JavaScript features are not supported in every browser yet, right? So someone needs to do the converting part. So Babel is here to transpile, transpile latest JavaScript features like ES6 features, arrow function, and everything, which are not understandable to every browser in to ES5. which is understandable to every browser okay so now let's see how it works how it convert converts the es6 uh, features into es5 so to see this we will first make a folder like i will name it babel only okay now second part is like uh, uh, open the terminal and we will go inside this babel folder Okay, we are inside the Babel folder. Then after that, what we need to do is we are going to initialize the install the package JSON and dependencies. So we will initialize npm inside it. So now it has been initialized, and you can see a package JSON file is here. Okay, now in the next step. we will try to first install babel globally and we can run this command npm i inst uh, g babel dash cli so what it will do it will install the babel cli globally and then we will be able to run the babel commands in our terminal like pex enter and it will start and uh, installing the necessary packages uh, babel packages so uh, it might take some time just be patience uh, so after mm, this has happened then what we are going to do we have already uh, so it, you can see it is installing if you guys are encountering any error while installing this then i'll suggest you to check the necessary permissions uh, on your for your pc 
okay then after this has happened what we are going to do we will write npm i dash dash save dev save dev after that we are going to write table cli same table dot cli after that we will mention table uh, dash preset uh, es 2050 okay so what it will do is uh, save dev thing is used uh, for installing the dependency for development purpose only so that we don't only we need this for development not for production that is why we have used this save dev okay and the next thing is babel cli we already saw this for babel packages to run and then babel preset es25 is like an array of plugins which allow babel to transpile es2015 code it includes lot of plugins like plugin for arrow function classes and many more okay so the next step is like we will create a dot babel rc non modules folder is also there now we will create dot babel rc file here okay and so what it does is this file tells the babel how we want our code to transpile so it will contain a normal json with her two properties like plugin and presets so let me just write it down for you it will have presets okay and it will be an array and it will contain plugins as well okay so what are both used if you want just want to be able to transpile transpile specific features you can specify them into into plugins okay and because there are separate plugins like arrow functions classes instances etc and many more but defining plugins this way is not a great idea okay so what we are going to do we just want all the features of es6 to be transpiled okay so instead of specifying everything we will just uh, take a preset inside it and we will just mention it here so that it will so what uh, presets has it has a uh, all the collection of all the necessary plug plugins that are needed to transpile the es6 code into es5 code okay so j we just need to mention the preset inside it so what preset we have already installed is es2015 so what we will do we will just write here es2015 okay and then we are going to just save the file okay now after that what we are going to do we will create a src folder here not inside node modules we will select here we will create a src folder in the root directory okay src and inside this i will make a index.js file okay inside this i will write a function using uh, the arrow functions like const const uh, what here uh, checking table can can version okay so whenever you are declaring any variable or uh, or function it is a good practice to clearly state what you want, uh, what this function is doing okay don't just write simply a uh, variable or something you are uh, const function is equal to function or something it should have a name that will briefly describe its purpose okay so after that what we are uh, what i can do is i can pass any string or anything i want here so what i will do hello guys welcome uh, this is the cool developer okay cool developer okay so i'll just now save the file okay so this is an arrow function that is been introduced in es6 thing okay so now what i am going to do 
is uh, I will try to build this thing. So what I am going to run here in the command prompt now in order to convert this arrow function into ES5, ES6 format into ES5 I will just run a command uh, like L src dash d then build ok then press enter now wait uh, it might take some time like it was just a uh, few seconds it will take and you will see a folder appearing here named build and it will contain the the same file like index.js but this arrow function will be converted into es5 so it is still building nah. no issues guys sometimes we need to have patience and development is all about patience because every now and then we would be encountering some errors so i will discuss about the error that i faced okay while downloading it where is all that error okay Johnny. so this was the initial error i faced i will just uh, mention it here as well so this was regarding some permission you might also face it so after that what you can do you can just go open your uh, windows powershell open windows powershell ok uh, using run as run as administrator ok creator ok after that what you are going to do you just need to copy paste one code and that will be resolved so this is the code you can just write it I will just provide it here as well set execution you can just go there and write it there and then press enter and this issue will be resolved ok so our building has been completed ok it has built one index.js file inside build you can go here and now check it so let's see it has converted this this and this was the initial thing containing the arrow function but it converted it into a simple function using ES5 script presets so this is all about Babel that I wanted to discuss with you guys so that Babel is a good topic you can totally understand that it is playing a very good role a huge part in converting the arrow functions and the things that react is using into simple javascript so that the other uh, older versions of the browser also can understand ok so this is all that i wanted to cover in this video hope you guys like it and thank you for watching guys please do like and subscribe and share it with your friends as well and so i'll take your leave thank you thank you for watching bye bye